Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are well. This is a little bit of a different setup for me. Normally I am the one in front of the camera, but today I have the dolls I will be transforming. And I bought this bundle a little bit before Christmas and I have been dying to fix these up because as you can see, their hair is atrocious, guys, honestly. So I got a bundle of one, two, three, four, five, six dolls, but one was like a My Little Pony doll, so I got rid of that. I put that in my niece's and nephew's toy cupboard downstairs. But I believe this bundle only cost me around £13, which was really affordable, considering I did not have a few dolls in this bundle. But anyway, I will talk you through who I got. Sorry, I am cutting off Dana. Doll number one is the Fashion Show Chloe. Then I got the Passion for Fashion Twin Pack Megan and Chloe. There is designed by Jade and the girls really rock tour boss Dana. I did already have the design by Jade and the fashion show Chloe but I did not have Dana or the Chloe or the Megan from the Passion for Fashion line. Sorry for the really bad angles guys. I am trying to like hold them up and get them in shot. These are the dolls I will be transforming in today's video so if you are looking forward to it then stick around and I will dive right in. Okay so so I quickly want to talk you through who has their original outfit and who is missing pieces and all that good stuff. This is the fashion show Chloe and she is wearing her original dress and shoes. She is missing her earrings and her jacket and her bracelet but that is okay because I do have something I am going to use instead of her jacket and I have jewellery in my collection that she can wear so that is all fine. As for designed by Jade, she is wearing one of the passion for fashion Yasmin tops which has for some reason gone black instead of purple as you can see it still has the purple stitching but the top has gone a black like silvery shade which is really weird but anyway and then these shoes look identical to the fashion show Chloe shoes so I don't know who they are from unless this person had another fashion show Chloe but she is not wearing anything from her original outfit Oh my god, can you hear those birds? Anyway, this is the Passion for Fashion Megan. She is wearing her original dress and her original shoes. She is missing her earrings. I do have some jewellery that she can wear, so that is all good. As for Chloe from the same pack, she is wearing this dress which was really baggy and it looked quite awful on her but I did love the dress. I have no idea where it's from so if you know please let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate it but my mum did like stitch it, sew it, whatever she did to make it fit Chloe so as you can see she kind of like folded it over itself and it looks really good on Chloe. However I do have her original second outfit in my collection. Well, I do have her top at least. I'm not sure the pants are her exact pants from the pack, but she will be wearing them and I am going to give her the same shoes as Megan because I do have a spare set. As for the shoes she is wearing right now, I do believe these belong to Designed by Jade, which is fabulous. Lastly, we have the Girls Really Rock Tour Bus Dana in Designed by Jade's second outfit, which is incredible. I will be putting this on Jade because I do have a design by Jade in her first outfit. This is missing the skirt I believe but you know what I can make this work and I do have the Dana's original outfit in my collection that she will be getting so it all worked out really well. I did go ahead and undress all of the dolls ready for their cleanup and I am sorry if you don't like doll nudity but I really don't see the big deal it's just a doll. Anyway as you can see the fashion show Chloe has incredibly strong blush. I really don't like it so I am going to remove it. I think she would look better without it. And to do that I am taking some nail varnish remover and a q 
heat it, an earbud, whatever you call it. I don't normally use this on my dolls because I think it's quite strong and it can remove the paint, obviously, hence why I am using it now. But on a regular basis, I would not use this to get rid of marks. Already that looks so much better. And I have never re-blushed a doll, so I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to give that a go with her. But either way, she needed it removing because that was awful. So now that dreadful blush has been removed, I am going to begin cleaning her up using the Dettol hand wash and a soft bristle toothbrush. I will scrub her down twice to make sure all the dirt and grime is off her. I am going to take a pair of rubber gloves to put on whilst I do this because I don't want my hands getting dry and sore from cleaning so many dolls. I am only able to wear one glove as I won't be able to turn the camera on and off. So um, yeah, normally I would wear two though. Please ignore my dodgy sink. Can you hear how annoying that is? But anyway, next I am going to take some baking soda and the same soft bristle toothbrush. I am going to scrub her down using this as well. Now I am going to take the same Dettol hand wash and I am going to wash her hair twice using this. I know my techniques might seem a little bit extra but this is how I like to personally clean my dolls and I do get a lot of compliments on my dolls appearance and their hair. It does work. You can of course take bits and pieces from my routine and implement it into yours. Anyway I am going to put two squirts of this into her hair and as you can see it will begin to lather up Next, I am taking a brush and a fine tooth comb and some conditioner and I am going to condition her hair and brush out all of the knots. I am using the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. This is amazing, but you can use any conditioner that you have. Oh, I am going to add a decent amount of this into the hair and then I will take the brush. I will begin from the bottom to brush out all of the tangles and knots. Once you feel like you have got all of the knots out, you can take the fine tooth comb and just begin to brush it through the hair just to make sure that it is nice and smooth and not free. I do advise always doing this whilst there is conditioner in the hair, otherwise you will cause quite bad split ends for your doll. You do lose a lot more hair that way as well. The doll does, not you personally, but you know what I'm saying. Whilst I was brushing out her knots, I did realise that she still has the tags in her head from the box, as you can see right here. So I am going to find where it is, and then I am going to pull all of her hair away from it, and I am going to take my nail cutting scissors, which I don't use on my nails, by the way, and I am going to get as far down to the bottom of her head with the scissors as I can, and I am going to cut it like that. Chloe is ready to go and wait on a towel to be boil washed with the rest of the girls. Dana and Jade do have a few stains on their body which I will show you more in detail. If you look at Dana's face you can see this like weird reddish mark like a line across her forehead. I don't know what it is but I do believe it will come off. Then if we take a closer look at Jade her legs are covered in this like silver pen. To remove that I am 
am going to take my trusty magic eraser or the eraser way. You can get these from any sort of like B&M, home bargains, pound shop and I am going to wet it under the tap. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen a magic eraser before but they are amazing. Do not use it on the paint though, it will remove it. They are very strong. So I am going to begin to scrub the mark on her leg and as you can see the stain is pretty much removed. I will go ahead and carry on scrubbing but this works incredibly. If we give it a whirl on Dana's forehead you just keep scrubbing away. Be careful of the paint like I said. Just like that it is gone. How incredible are they? I didn't think there was much point me showing you every single doll having their body scrubbed and their hair scrubbed and blah blah blah. I thought that would get a little bit redundant. Now I am going to show you how I do my doll laundry and I have this little tub that I got from I think it was Iceland maybe. This is just an ice box you know like put ice in there and put your drinks in there that's what it's for but I use it to do my doll laundry. So the first thing I am taking are these colour magnet colour catchers. I simply take one of these and I throw it in the box and then I am taking some washing powder. This one is the surf one and I am going to put a little bit of this in there and then to take care of any stains on the doll's clothing I am taking some Oxy Active Plus fabric stain remover. I am taking some fabric softener. This one is by Lenore and it's Fresh Meadow. Take about that much, throw it in. And then what I do is I get my shower head and I put it on the cold setting. Mix that all together. That smells lovely by the way, guys. Once everything has been mixed together, I am going to throw in the clothes and give it a little bit of a stir around. And then I will leave this to soak for maybe 20 to 30 minutes. I will be cautious however of this material. So this is that faux leather fabric and it does begin to peel so just be extra careful when soaking this. I have gone and boiled my kettle and I am going to add a little bit of the Lenore Fresh Meadow fabric softener into the sink like so and then I am going to add in the boiling water. Now I am going to add the dolls into the boiling water water one by one. Here we have all of the girls in the boiling hot water. I will leave them here until the water goes cold. I will repeat this four times. I know some people only do it once or do it twice but I find four times is perfect. It makes their hair really sleek and really smooth and straight. As well I would suggest pulling them out every now and again and just brushing through their hair with a fine tooth comb and then putting them back in the water. It really does help their hair go extra straight and another tip I would recommend is pouring the kettle water directly on the doll's hair. Please be careful though do not burn yourself but it does really really make their hair go poker straight. Right so I have had the clothes soaking now for quite some time longer than I said I'd say about an hour so I have washed out the water with the fabric softener and the powder and everything in it and this is just cold water plain cold water and I am washing out all of that like washing stuff and now I will dry them. I will dry them a little bit with a towel and then I will put them on a coat hanger on my radiator and that will dry them. Just don't put things like this directly on the um, radiator because it could melt. Just be careful. I do need to wash the shoes. I will wash them the same way as I did the dolls. So hand soap, baking soda, all that stuff. Okay, so now I have all of the clothes like slightly dry, not dry, but you know, the better than they were. This is the colour catcher. I will reuse it because it did catch nothing. It caught nothing. It did catch nothing. Anyway, I have a pair of scissors and what I am going to do now is any loose threads or like, you know, I can't really explain like there's not much on these ones. If you see that right there, I'm going to cut that off. Like I can't stand these little bits sticking out of my doll's clothes. I'm not going to sit here and show you me like snipping every little thread off because I mean, no one needs it. So now we have all the clothes 
clothes here ready to dry and the radiator is on so this shouldn't take too long at all. So the girls have been left on this shelf overnight to dry and now I am going to show you one of my favourite things. I saw Shelly from A Thousand Splendid Dolls do this on her channel and I was like oh my god I love doing that as well. The girls have sat here all night and dried and as you can see their hair is all like clumped together and it still looks quite wet however when you brush it it just turns so silky and so smooth like look at that guys let me give the front a brush as well oh it's beautiful so let's get chloe and again i will do the same just look at how sleek and smooth it goes this isn't a trick or a technique or anything i just love doing it and i thought i would just show it you on camera i went ahead and brushed out all of the girls hair and as you can see they all look incredible well i know jade does have a few split ends on the top of her head but I will take care of those in a moment and I do need to cut off any longer pieces that some of them do have but apart from that they are all looking good and Jade is the only one I am going to be putting a hairstyle into because her original hairstyle is some of it pushed back. I might give one or two of them a clip or something but I'm not too sure yet. Whilst I'm here I do want to show you the power of a boil wash. I mean this is some hand soap, some conditioner and four boil washes and look at how lovely that hair is. I feel like some people really underestimate the power of a boil wash. Like, I watch some videos and people go, oh, they don't need a boil wash, and then are not happy with the end result. And I am telling you guys, boil wash your doll's hair, because honestly, it's so buttery soft and just incredible, guys, honestly. So do not underestimate the power of a good boil wash. Hair I have designed by Jade, and I am going to begin to take care care of all of those split ends and then I will restyle her hair so I am going to cut them to as far down to her head as I can make sure you have a towel down or something otherwise you'll be covered in hair and unfortunately Jade does have quite a lot of split ends but as you saw from the beginning her hair was probably in the worst condition out of all the girls but her hair does feel so so smooth guys like the boil wash really did magic on her and I love that it kept some of her like curl at the end like it has a nice wave to it at the end which does happen so if your doll has saran hair and they have curly hair nine times out of ten the boil wash will reform the curls that is nice but yeah so like I said I am just literally cutting off all of the split ends on her head So here I have Megan and you might not be able to see on camera but she has some longer pieces on her hair which I am going to snip away like so just to make sure her hair is pretty even and yeah it just makes them look overall a lot more neater. Okay so after two days the girls are all done and I could not be happier with their transformations. I think they look beautiful. Feel free to let me know down below in the comments how you think they look considering how they started off I think they look fabulous but I'm biased I will show you them one by one so I will start with designed by Jade and as you can see I gave her this really cute scrunchy bobble whatever you want to call it I am living for it and basically all I did was I put her hair in a bobble like it should be I use the small tiny bobbles from Primark you can get these in blonde brown black and I have every color and I buy lots of them because they are perfect for dolls. I'm not sure how many you get per pack but you do get a lot and they are only one pound and then once I had done that I used a pipe cleaner and this one is like a furry pink that matches her outfit and then to add on the lips I got these assorted buttons in a lip shape. You get pink, red and purple. If you are in the UK I got these from The Works. They are super cute and I knew they would come in handy in terms of my dolls. I think that is a really cute looking bobble and I gave her live in concert 
it's Jade's, not Jade's, Dana's, Dana's shoes. I always get them confused because let's face it, the doll is basically Jade, but named Dana. As for Chloe, Megan and Dana, they don't have anything special going on. I did give Chloe a silver hair clip and I gave Megan an orange one. Dana does not have any hair accessories, but the fashion show Chloe got this lovely feather boa. This is black and it's furry and it's super soft. And I bought this from an arts and crafts store. Basically, I went in and I bought the pink one. I bought a white one, the black one, and this like reddish color one. And then I bought this pom-pom black and pink material, which I will use for something. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I thought it was really cute. And then this is the headband material I bought for my strutted Chloe. Not Chloe, I keep filming this and saying Chloe. My Yasmin, who is right here. This is what I am going to use as a headband on this doll. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, this is what I bought. And I bought it in meters. And for one meter, I believe it was like £1.49. And I can get two feather boas out of this, which is really cute. And as you can see on Chloe, it just gives her that touch of glamour, even though she was glamorous already. So yeah, this is the girls completed. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a lovely comment down below. Don't forget to click the notification bell and of course subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hauls, transformations, unboxings, you name it, I'll do it on here. But I am strictly like a Bratz collector, Bratzilla's collector, you name it. I am just a big Bratz fan. So if you are into Bratz, then you know what to do. And yeah, until the next one, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Mwah. Bye-bye.